Jerry at Fair Oaks. Hi, Lee. I was looking for you just a minute ago. Oh, where'd you go? To the library. I wanted to look up something for history class. Oh, say, Lee, hmm? who do you suppose this Mr. X is that Harold's dad and Mr. Layton are going to bring here? Hmm, search me. I'm just as much in the dark as you are. They certainly did make it sound mysterious. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. You going to enter the aeronautics class? Oh, well, say I am. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Hmm. So how was riding practice today? Swell. We've really got a good team, Lee. We're getting so now that we can all take the jumps together without looking to see if the next man is going over. Sergeant Allen says we go over the hurdles as one man. Hmm. Well, how splendid. Oh, great. Gee, he looks swell as pivot horse. Sergeant Allen took him out a few times, and now he's really got him trained. Splendor stands in the middle of the line without moving a muscle. I don't even have to touch the reins for commands. He turns and pivots just the way I lean my weight. Say, that's okay. Okay. It's perfect, Cadet Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you taking credit for, you or the horse? <laughs> for the horse and <laughs> Sergeant Allen. I didn't know it before, but the sergeant told me that a, a really good show horse like Splendor doesn't have to be guided at all by the reins. The rider doesn't have to touch him. He just leans one way or the other or presses with his knees, and the horse obeys. Well, have they set a definite date for the meet? Sergeant Allen won't tell us. He just says we've got a lot to do to get ready. <laughs> Looks to me like we are ready. Mm, well, he knows what he's doing. Say, let's take a walk over to Mac's place, huh? <laughs> okay. I bet he's still talking about the excitement. <laughs> yeah, I bet he is, too. Every cadet in the school cornered me and started asking me questions about it. Yeah, they did me, too. I'm kind of tired of talking about it. Yeah. Well, here's Custis Hall. Uh-huh. Say, the new cadet should be here by now. Oh, yeah. The one Red Morrison went to meet. Say, don't you think it was funny that Major Davis sent Red to meet him? Why? Well, after all Red's done, it seems to me that somebody else would have been better. Oh, I think I know why Major Davis sent him, Lee. You do? Why? Well, since they're going to keep Red here at Fair Oaks, I think Major Davis wants him to forget all about what's happened. The business about Splendor and the running away and all that. It, well, it'll kind of make Red feel that he can get a brand new start. Nobody will rub it in. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it'll work with Red. What do you mean, you wonder if it'll work? Well, look, Jerry, when he was demoted for putting Tubby Young under the shower, he looked as though he might turn out okay. But he rescues Harold from drowning, gets back his captain's bars, and turns right back into the same bullying Red Morris than he was before. Then he loosens the cinch strap on Splendor and gets Paul Warren hurt badly. Well, after that, it didn't seem as though he'd do anything more. But on the night of the treasure hunt, he runs away. Well, you see what I mean? Yeah, but I still think Major Davis knows what he's doing. Maybe he figured it out that... Punishing Red wasn't the right way to straighten him out. No. Yeah. Well, I hope you're right. Because I've got a sneaking suspicion that if Red Morrison could be straightened out in the right direction, he'd be a swell fella. You know, I thought the same thing. Because even when he was, well, when he was at his worst, you had to give him credit for being a fine athlete and all that. Yeah. Well, I hope we're right, Jerry. Well, come on, let's get going. Hey, wait, look. Where? Towards Major Davis's office. Isn't that Red Morrison coming out now? Yeah, it is. See, I guess that's the new boy with him. Uh-huh. Kind of big, isn't he? No, just a little taller than I am. They're coming down this way. 
You want to wait for him? Mm-hmm, yeah, I think it'd be kind of nice to get acquainted with a new cadet. We might take him along with us over to Mac's place. Sure, it's a good idea. Might as well. I mean, the new cadet is Scotch, and so is Mac. <laughs> they ought to get along so well. Shh, here they come. Hiya, Red. Hello, Red. Hey. Jerry, I want you to meet Bruce Dow Campbell. He's going to be with us here at Fair Oaks. Oh, that's swell. How are you? Hiya, Bruce. How do you do, gentlemen? Gentlemen? Uh... Well, we hope you'll like it here at Fair Oaks, Bruce. Oh, thank you, Mr. I don't believe I caught the last name. Uh, Phillips. But call me Lee, will you? Thank you, Mr. Phillips. My last name is Dugan, but I wouldn't know you were talking to me unless you called me Jerry. I'll try to remember that, Mr. Dugan. Uh, I was just going to show Bru Mr. Dow Campbell around. Want to go with us? Yeah, yeah, sure. We thought we'd like to take Bruce, uh, Mr. Dow Campbell over with us to Max. Sure, Max Scott. You ought to get along swell with him, Bruce. Scott. Huh? I'm a Scot, not a Scotchman. Oh, what's the difference? A Scot is never called a Scotchman. Oh. Well, wouldn't you like to meet Mac? I should be delighted. I... Okay, come on. Uh, you're coming too, aren't you, Red? Sure, I'll go along. Mr. Doc Campbell's going to be my roommate. Oh, swell. Well, come on. Ah, we're looking right down on Fair Oaks Avenue, Bruce. Quite nice. Mm, it's a pretty little town, don't you think so? Charming. Charming? Jerry. Uh, Mr. Dow Campbell has just come over from India. Well, you're not sunburned. Sunburned? <laughs> I was just kidding. But I thought that anyone who just came from India would have a swell coat of tan. Oh, really? Well, in India, one doesn't go out in the sun if he values his health. The sun is too strong, isn't it? Yes. See, I'll bet it's interesting in India. Oh, quite. Uh, your father is a colonel in the Black Watch, isn't he? We prefer to call the regiment the Royal Highlanders. Oh, doesn't anyone call them the Black Watch? Sometimes. Hey, watch the arch, you please. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, see you on the sidewalk, Bruce. We're not allowed to go through the little arches. Oh, are you going to be an upperclassman? Oh, I believe that was the designation Major Davis gave me. Uh, well, we'll uh, join you on the pavement outside. Okay. Come on, Jerry. Gee, he doesn't talk much, does he? Well, he's strange here, Jerry. He'll loosen up after a while. Yeah, I guess so. He sure... Shh. Well, here we are again. Uh, you like Mac, Bruce. He's a smart man, isn't he, Lee? Yeah, I'll say he is. He invented an altimeter for a plane. The only trouble was that somebody invented it first. Well, it took brains to figure it out, even if somebody else did come out with it just a little before Mac. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Dow Campbell, are you interested in uh, airplanes? I hadn't thought much about it. Well, uh, wouldn't you like to think about it? Perhaps. Because mm, we're going to have a course in aeronautics here at Fair Oaks. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Well, <laughs> here's uh, Mac's place. My word, quite a lot of things in here. Oh, yeah. Mac carries everything he needs from ice cream to ice cream. I wonder where he is. Uh, he's probably in the back fooling around with his chemicals. Is he doing that now? Uh-huh. He's going to invent something. Hey, Mac! Oh, Mac! Hmm. He must have stepped out in the backyard for a minute. I guess so. Well, we might as well sit down. Yeah. Uh, sit between us, Bruce. Oh, thanks awfully. Uh, you're welcome. Well, uh... Did you have a nice trip on the train? Pardon? Uh, I said, did you have a nice trip on the train? Oh, oh, yes, rather. Oh, dusty. Yeah, it is, kind of. Uh, you know, uh, you'll have to come up to our room sometime, Bruce, and tell us all about India. Not much to tell. Not much to tell about India? Oh, you're kidding. I beg pardon? Uh, Lee means you're trying to joke about it. Oh, oh, that I'm pulling his leg. <laughs> Boy, that's a new uh, one. That means kidding and... and... Well, in English, I guess. I can see where we're going to have to get together and learn to talk. Jerry, for the love of mine. Oh, quite all right, Mr. Phillips. I had a rather difficult time understanding some of your vernacular. Oh, boy, that's a ten-dollar word. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you're impossible. <laughs> no, just friendly. <laughs> Say, Mac's never going to do any business this way. Hey, Mac! Oh, oh, lads, I'll be right with you. Just put in a little trash. I'll be right with you. Now take your time, Mac. No, no, no. I, I could... Uh, oh. Oh, Mac, uh, this is Mr. Bruce Dow Campbell. He's a new cadet here at Fair Oaks. Oh, well, no, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm glad to know you, Bruce. Mighty glad. Thank you. Yeah, Mac's full name is William McLeod, uh, owner and manager of this establishment. But we call him Mac. Oh, <laughs> aye, that you do. And again, thing it is. Uh, uh, Bruce, uh, would your family be of the Helen Campbells of Brettlebane, Argyle, or, or perhaps of uh, Codder or Luton? None. Where of the Lochnell Campbells? Oh, aye, aye, the Lochnell Campbells. A uh, fine Helen family. Thank you. Eh? 
Oh, 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 yeah, that's all right. It's all right. Uh, now, Red, uh, what do you have? Uh, Bruce, what's yours? Do you have tea? Holy smoke. I read about it, but I didn't believe it. Jerry. Uh, huh? uh, uh, tea? Uh, well, I... Uh, and I guess that can be brought around. I uh, I, I uh, better tea myself this time of day. I hear you some in a jiffy, Bruce. Uh, Jerry, uh, Lee, Red, uh, what's yours? I'll uh, make mine chocolate ice cream. Yeah, same here. A strawberry. Chocolate, too, and a strawberry. Uh, your tea I'll hear in a moment, Bruce. Thank you. Max ice cream is the best in town, Bruce. You ought to try oh. it. Oh, thank you. I, I shall sometime. Say, do you, uh... Uh, do you go in for any athletics? Athletics? Yeah, you know, football, baseball, swimming, rowing. Oh, oh, well, I did play a bit of rugby in England, but I was there for only a short time, so I couldn't get very much attached to the game. Rugby? Uh, yeah, uh, like football, Jerry. Oh. Quite. Well, here we are, Ned. One strawberry, two chocolate, and one tea. Oh, Bruce, uh, you'll be letting the little bag stay in the hot water a wee bit longer than ordinary. The, the tea might be a bit weak. Thank you, it's satisfactory. Uh, uh, many's the time I've held the cumbrels a loch, no, Bruce. Bruce's father is a colonel in the black, uh, the Royal Highlanders. Well, no, you don't be telling me. Oh, many's the time I've held the skeleton of their bagpipes and looked out to see them going past. Maybe you'll tell us something about them, won't uh, you, Bruce? There's really nothing much to tell. Why, why, Bruce, there's lots of things to tell. Uh, luck, no. That was in the line of duty, Mr. McLeod. Oh, I, uh, yes. Uh, yes, so it was, uh, so it was. If you don't mind now, Mr. Morrison, I think we'd be better getting back. I've got to unpack my kit. Do you mind? Hmm? No, oh, no, sure not. See you later, Jerry and Lee. Uh, how much do I owe you for the tea, Mr. McLeod? Oh, well, no. <laughs> As the boys here will tell you, uh, the first time a cadet comes to Fair Oaks, uh, the treat's on Mac, <laughs> on me. Oh, no. Oh, but it is, lad. I'm sorry, but I insist upon paying. Oh, you don't get it, Bruce. Mac always treats. I'm sorry, but I'm perfectly capable of paying my own. How much, please? Uh, yeah. uh, well, if, if you're... Uh, ten cents. Uh. Thank you. There you are. Well, come on, Mr. Doc Campbell. Yes. I shall see you gentlemen later. I'm happy to have met you, Mr. McLeod. Oh, oh, uh, the same to you, Bru uh, Mr. Dow Cumble, the same to you. <laughs> see you later. Yes, yeah, so along. See you after recall. Well, how do you like that? Hey, what's the matter with him, anyway? Gee, Mackey, he insisted on paying for the tea. Aye, oh, but uh, didn't I let that be water in you, lads? I can see where he's going to get himself nice and disliked here at Fair Oaks. Oh, no, no lads, uh, didn't I be judging too hastily? Uh, you can, there's an old saying, and a good one, that goes like this. Uh, judge not a man from sight alone, for the outward dinner show the inward. Hmm. Meaning Bruce might be all right inside. Aye, aye, exactly that, Lee. Well, I don't know. Something tells me we're going to have a little trouble with Mr. Bruce Dow Campbell. <laughs> 